Hello. Today we are going to discuss about network topology. So in network topology, what we will do is we will uh, just draw the graph uh, for the circuits or network which is given. Okay. Once uh, the graph is drawn, from the graph we will be drawing a tree. From the graph we will be drawing a tree. Using tree, we will be computing uh, the node voltages. Okay, branch current. So anything can be found out. Okay, from the tree. Okay. So first of all, let's start with the graph. What is graph? So in a network, if the branches are represented by the straight line, it means I am going to consider a circuit. Circuit or network both are same here. I am going to consider uh, a network. So in this, if the branches are represented by the straight line segment, so branch means what? Each and every two terminal element I call it as a branch. Resistor I can consider as a branch. One voltage source I can consider as a branch. One current source I can consider as a branch. Okay, any two terminal element I am going to consider as a branch. Okay, so if the branches are represented by the straight line segment, it means all the branches in the network will be represented by a straight line segments and the nodes. What is node? point of interconnection between any two or more branches okay to a point of interconnection between two or more branches i call it as nodes okay each and every node will be represented as a dots then the resultant diagrammatic representation is called as a graph okay what i'm going to do i'm going to consider a network or a circuit in that all the branches I'm going to draw as a straight line segment. I'm going to replace the branches with the straight line segment, and I'm going to uh, consider all the nodes, or uh, I'm going to draw all the nodes as a dots. Then the resultant diagrammatic representation I'm going to call it as a graph. This is what the graph. So drawing the graph is very very simple. Uh, I can show you an example. So it is a network. Okay, you can see. This is a network or a circuit in that each and every two terminal element for example this 30 volt source 2 ampere source 4 ohms 1 ampere 3 ampere 5 ohm 6 vx all will be considered as what all will be considered as branches any two terminal element will be considered as branches and that two terminal element will be drawn as a straight line segment so instead of this particular branch i am going to draw a straight line like that for each and every branch i'm drawing a straight line for each and every branch i'm drawing a straight line so finally i'm going to get uh, something like this i'm going to get something like this okay so this is what called as graph okay this is what called as graph uh, this is how we need to draw a graph oriented graph if each line segment of a graph is assigned with a direction it is called as oriented graph okay if i mention a direction uh, in each and every line segment okay line segment is drawn for each and every branches if i mention the direction to it it is called as oriented graph the other name of oriented graph is directed graph the other name of oriented graph is directed graph next one is connected graph a graph is said to be connected if there exists at least one path between two nodes so this I can go, this I'm going to call it as a connected graph. So between each and every node there is a connection. Each and every node there is a connection. So unconnected graph look like this. If you want to connect one and six, this, it is not possible because this is separate. It is drawn separately. So there is no connection. It is unconnected. And this one is connected graph. Okay, next one is tree. tree a tree of a network connects all the nodes of a network but contains no closed path the tree will be drawing from the graph we will be drawing the tree from a graph okay so i need to connect all the nodes i need to connect all the nodes but there should not be any closed path 
okay i need to connect all the nodes but there should not be any closure part that i call it as tree for example if i have uh, n nodes total number of nodes is n okay number of branches i need to connect all the nodes is n minus 1 i need only n minus 1 branches to connect all the nodes okay the based on the number of nodes the number of branches in the tree will be decided okay the name of a branch in a tree we call it as twig t w i g twig each branch of a tree is called a twig okay this is a graph this is an example for a graph and this is an example for oriented graph so oriented graph is just giving direction to each and every line segment okay and uh, in this from this graph i can draw a tree okay here we need to consider the number of nodes we have 1 2 3 and 4 totally four nodes for number of node equal to 4 so we need only three branches or three twigs to complete a tree so i can draw it in many ways uh, i'll be giving some rules for drawing it later okay i have uh, many ways to draw a tree here so i am just connecting all the three nodes i am connecting all the three nodes this is called as twig each and every branch of a tree we call it as a twig each and every branch of a tree we call it as twig okay now i need to compare this graph and a tree i need to compare this graph and this tree in a graph uh, some portion of the line segments are not drawn in a tree that i call it as coterie okay this part is not drawn this i call it as coterie this i call it as coterie the branches which is not included in a tree we call it as coterie the branch of coterie i call it as link the branch of coterie i call it as link each branch of a coterie is called a link or chord there is another name chord each branch of a coterie is called a link or chord all the branches that are present in a network but not in the tree of a network together constitute a coterie okay together constitute a coterie okay next a planar graph if a graph contains no crossovers okay then it it is called as planar graph okay this can be represented in a single plane the graph which cannot be represented in a single plane and there will be a crossovers i call it as a non planar graph okay so in a plane surface it is not possible to represent a graph represent a graph means i call it as non planar graph non planar graph okay so that's all for now uh, we'll be discussing uh, uh, how to draw a tree from the next video thank you